Alright guys, American Chip here with a more in-depth tutorial on how to fix your Play Store when it has the no connection error due to things like Market Unlocker or even Freedom.apk. You can see I have Freedom running open in the background and as of right now because I activated it recently, I believe my Play Store still does work, although I'm not entirely sure. And yeah, it still works. But for those of you that use Freedom for a while, you know that eventually you get the uh, connection error because it tends to modify your host file and or because you edit your time zone. Usually that's the main source of the cause. Main source of the cause. Main cause of the problem. Sorry about that. It's 3.14 a.m. I apologize. But um, for those of you that don't know, Freedom did have an update uh, a while back where it now works within the U.S. It should come up with a prompt like the first time you activate it saying this application may be illegal within your state. Yada, yada, yada. You know the risks. So um, as you go on. You just need to allow Freedom to update itself in order for it to be compatible with the U.S. time zone. And for those of you that don't have ES File Explorer or Root Explorer, in fact, you guys can't really fix the connection error without doing things such as a factory reset. And even then, that's not even guaranteed that it would fix your connection. So... For Android users, we have the benefit of in our settings menu, we can head over to our security option and check off these unknown resources. And this comes stock, you don't even have to be rooted for this option. But since we are rooted in order to use freedom, we have to, uh, you know, check that off for this uh, fix. So once you uh, check off the unknown resources, you want to head over to the internet or Google Chrome or whatever browser you tend to use. And once you load up Google.com or even Bing or whatever search engine you use, you want to type in Apatoid. If I could uh, click this, it would be majestic. A-P-T-O-I-D-E. I believe is how you spell it. And when my internet gets a speed boost. Um, yeah. Uh, hold on, it's just trying to load. I'm in like the worst spot in my house, I believe. So yeah, the first thing that pops up should be Apatoid Installer. M.Apatoid.com You want to go ahead and click that. Oh, I think I clicked it twice. Oh, and then you want to go ahead and press this big green button right here. Now, I already have it installed and everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the uh, internet. And you want to head over to the Appetoid uh, app. And once in here, you will be met by a few prompts. Just keep pressing next. And then you should come up with this screen. <clears throat> so once here, you want to go ahead and press the search bar. And type in root explorer or ES file explorer. Either one. Depends on your preference. Once that happens, you just let it load. And for you guys, the same thing should pop up. You do not have Root Explorer in your added stores. So you want to go ahead and press search more. And use whatever browser you like. And let this load. And once it's fully loaded, uh, you have things like this. Root Explorer, Droid Explorer, even ES File Explorer came up. But for me, I choose Root Explorer, so I'm going to go ahead and click Root Explorer. 
And right here, since we are uh, rooted and we have uh, Appetwit installed, you want to go ahead and press this green install button. You know, uh, okay, yep, it pops up with the Appetwit application. And yes, I do wish to install Root Explorer. <coughs> and sure, I'll add the store. Adding the store just makes your uh, Appetoid more open. So like if you search another application, you can find it easier. And since we are rooted, you can grant access to this and it should automatically install Root Explorer for you. Uh, if my phone stops lagging. Uh, and another thing guys, you'll see that you, uh, for me I have 10 updates, but if you see things such as, um, I just wouldn't do these updates at all because sometimes they're, they're um, a lower version of the newest one on the Play Store and sometimes it can even ruin, like if you try to update Messenger, not Facebook, where you text from, it could try to update it so I have, I'm sorry if I sound confusing they use these updates that they are not real time so I'm not responsible if you do happen to press one of these updates alright so after all this happens you'll see that root explorer has been installed map it <coughs> I'm sorry I have a slight cough you want to go ahead and go in Root Explorer or ES File Explorer. And then from here, you just go into the ETC folder or etc. And the host file right here, hold it. And you can do either two things you can either open with a text editor. And uh, once it opens up, you should be able to, once it opens up, uh, granted access because you are editing a system thing. And then you could just put the hashtag or a number sign right here. And it should be all good from there. And save it before you exit. Or you could just do it the simple way. Because some other people have more than two lines of things. Simply just hold it. And... What was it? What was it? Delete. Oops. I deleted it. Nah, guys. You don't have to worry if you delete it. Once you reboot your phone or even start using the Play Stores again, it should automatically create another one. Give it time. And with the host files deleted, you should then, without needing a reboot, you should then have your full access to your Play Store. And let me go ahead and try it out. Let's see if it starts downloading. If my internet became faster. Alright, there you go. Let's go on top frame. I already have guess the emoji installed. Um, why not? Whatever. Bam. Let's see, let's see. This is the final moment. Um, sorry for the lag. And look at that. It's installing. Bam. Now, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have questions or you need me to clarify it, uh, just ask me down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll try to get to it as much as I can. Before I haven't, but now I'm being more active seeing as it is the summer and I have more free time. But I hope this helped you because a lot of people did have trouble on acquiring the actual app. <coughs> so, like I said, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.